And now at 12.30, major allegations against the Newport Beach-based fertility clinic. Clients are claiming that some of their frozen embryos were wrongfully destroyed. Now, these customers have now filed a lawsuit against the clinic. They allege that employees used a toxic chemical to clean the incubator where the embryos were kept. KTLA 5's Orange County Bureau Chief Chip Yost live in Santa Ana with the latest developments. Chip? Yeah, hey there, Glenn and Lou. This lawsuit not only alleges that this fertility clinic made some very bad mistakes with these embryos, the lawsuit and the attorneys representing these couples, the attorneys allege that the fertility clinic still allowed these women to be implanted with these embryos, even though they knew the embryos were not viable. I went through a lot of, you know, painful injections. This is a lot of time and effort. And then to find out that that was all for nothing was just devastating. Tuesday, Brooke Berger and Bennett Hardy, along with attorneys representing them and multiple other couples who have been trying to get pregnant, announced they were suing Ovation Fertility of Newport Beach, alleging that the company implanted embryos into women, knowing that the embryos were already dead due to some sort of foul up at the lab. I don't know why or how hydrogen peroxide became involved. It should never be involved, obviously. It's, it's, it's deadly upon impact to, to embryos, so we don't know if it's a cleaning issue or if it was used instead of a solution. We don't know at this point. We do know that it was hydrogen peroxide that, that killed these embryos. And our experts, this will be the subject of expert testimony, our experts have informed us that they absolutely would have known that these embryos were non-viable or should have known prior to implantation. The lawsuit claims the clinic tried to cover the mistake up, causing the women to think what happened was their fault. As for Hardy and Berger, they say this might have been their last chance at having a baby. So we're talking months of our lives again to get just to the point where we were when we lost these embryos. Um, I'm also three years older now than I was when we first did our egg harvest. Um, your odds of success do not improve with age. We did reach out to Ovation Fertility for a comment about this lawsuit, but so far have not heard back. Reporting live here in Santa Ana, I'm Chip Yost, KTLA 5 News. All right, thank you, Chip.